Our next practice visit takes us to Fairless for a look at the Falcons. Head coach AJ Sarbaugh and company are coming off an 8-2 season in which the program grabbed their first home playoff win in school history and Sarbaugh won his 31st game as head coach, tying a school record. A new season is here, and with key players graduated, the Falcons are tasked with proving that they can carry past success into the future. Sarbaugh believes that this year's group can do just that. Yeah, I think this senior class has their own goals and expectations that they want to leave their own legacy. So they're very proud of what we accomplished last year. Um, did a lot of great things, obviously, but it's a new year. It's a new team, new senior leadership. So they're trying to leave their own mark on Fairless football. Belief in the program isn't just with the coach. Team leaders Carson Colucci and Xavier Collier identify the culture that has been created. Went from, you know, no offense to the uh, old Fairless classes, but not such a good program. But now we've built a program, and he's uh, one of his best sayings that I take from him is tradition never graduates. You know, you can have the best players in Star County, whatever, you know, we had Luke Yoder, Brody Pumna last year, but, you know, each kid now, we have our turn now, so we get, we get a chance to build uh, our legacy and see what, you know, our class can do. Obviously the good, like Country said, Coach Sarball, he's built this program from the ground up. I mean, he uh, he's just, he's done everything he can. I mean, he gets up, I don't even know how, how early in the morning during liftings, like, He's there at 5.30 a.m. and he brings us donuts at the end of every week. Like that's stuff that he doesn't have to do for us. He gives us donuts and chocolate milk. Like just the little things that he does. Like he, you, you can tell he cares about the kids. He cares about football. With all that being said, high school football is just two weeks away. A 10 week opportunity for the Falcons to take flight and put their culture to the test. I really like our senior class. You know, obviously, like you said, we lost a lot of great players, but we've got some seniors that have busted their butt and they've been role players for maybe a year or two now, and they've waited their turn, and they've done a lot of good things in the weight room, a lot of good things in camp, and now it's their turn to get to have a bigger role under the lights on Fridays and get their opportunity to shine and do some good things for the program. Can't get any better. Uh, our team is really big on competition. Like, we compete every day, regardless if it's a walkthrough practice, weight room. We're just huge on con uh, competing. So I feel like that's really good, whether you're a varsity guy, JV guy, you're always looking for a spot, you know, obviously with the team having a lot of spots open this year, competing is huge, so that's an opportunity to really. So that's, that's what I take from camp and especially in uh, For me, it's just seeing who, uh, who's going to get pads on. You know, you can you can be good in the weight room, you can be good at camps, on the field, no pads on, but whenever you put the pads on, you, you find out who your players are and, uh, you know, just watching everybody compete, get better on offense, just meshing together, you know. We got, we got a few guys back, and uh, we're just meshing together right now. We're trying to build something special. And on defense, you just want to want to see physicality, you know, kind of nastiness. You want everybody to fly to the ball, uh, just just chase the ball around like a madman. Reporting for News Talk 1480 WHBC, I'm Billy Beebe.